Hey what's up guys, today we're going to modify the spawn point a little bit and also create some other waypoints so our enemies can go from their original starting points to the very end of the level. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, first thing we'll do is head over to the AI modder script and in there we'll get ourselves a, um, a vector tree so we are going to declare ourselves a private vector tree that we're going to call destination and let's put it at vector 3.0 for now so this field over here is going to be um, it, it should always be set to a certain waypoint on the map so the the AI should always be moving towards a certain point now in order to set this we are going to declare ourselves another function uh, just down here actually I'll say public uh, void set destination destination Okay, and it's going to take in parameter a transform, so transform t. Then we're simply going to say destination is equal to t dot position. Okay, so this function is now public and we are going to be calling it from um, outside. So both the spawn point and the waypoints are going to be calling this function on the enemy to set his new destination if needed. Okay, and now we need to code the uh, destination thing here. So, uh, what we did before is simply return a vector 3.0, but this is not going to work anymore since we have a new waypoint, a new destination. So, what we're going to say is if, let's start with a, a safety check. So, if destination is equal to, uh, say, vector 3.0, so if it hasn't been set yet, then simply return vector 3.0 or return destination, up to you, the same thing. Okay, and down here we'll say, well first we'll declare ourselves a vector 3 direction is equal to destination minus this transform dot position. Okay, so this is going to give us the direction in which the enemy should go, but it's also going to modify the um, the Y component and we don't want that, so let's flatten out our vector, two, our vector 3. So we'll say direction dot set is equal to dir.x, 0, and dir.z. So now we have a 2D vector, a 2D direction vector for our enemy um, to use. And we'll say return dir.normalize. Now we should have a uh, vector of length 1 in the direction of our waypoint. Okay, let's go up here. So this should work. Yeah, pretty much this should work just fine. Now, how do we go about setting these waypoints now? Um, what we're going to do is we're going to add some stuff to the spawn manager, actually to every single of our spawn point. We're going to add some stuff in there. So let's go ahead and open our spawn manager script. Actually, you know what? Before we do that, let's create the waypoints instead. So we'll create ourselves a new uh, folder in the script folder and I'm going to call this game. So this is going to be for every game specific uh, scripts. So create a new C-sharp script and we're going to call this waypoint. Open it up and this one is going to be really really simple so we'll clean it up first and then we'll say public transform destination and then just below that we'll say private void on trigger enter and make sure you write this uh, the same way that I wrote it because it is a callback from Unity. So if it is not uh, spelled correctly, it's not going to work. Okay, so uh, private void on trigger enter and it takes in parameter a collider. And this collider will simply say call dot send message and will send the set destination message. And uh, for the parameter, we're going to send the destination. So what we're doing pretty much is we're taking the object that has been um, that entered collision with our waypoint and we are sending a set destination message so it is going to look for this function and give it the transform parameter. Okay, next thing now, now we're going to open the spawn manager script. And in there, we are going to add a new class up here. So before creating our spawn manager class, we're going to create a new public class spawn point and this spawn point is going to contain two fields so a public transform self and a public um, transform destination 
just like this. And what is going to happen now is uh, we are going to change our spawn point list because now we have a, a list of transform. We're going to change it for a list of spawn point just like this. So replace transform with spawn point, and we're also going to uh, we're also going to need to modify these over here. So I'll just put them on separate lines, and instead of saying dot position, we're going to say dot self dot position self dot rotation. Okay. One last thing before we go set these waypoint in game is we're going to go above our class, open the brackets, and you're going to say system dot serializable. The reason we do this is so our spawn point class can appear in the inspector. And I'll show you in a moment. Just like this. So now you can see we have three spawn point and we can set both the self and the destination element of it. Without the system dot serializable it wouldn't show here. It just wouldn't appear in the inspector at all. Okay so we're going to assign our spawn point first. So in the spawn manager make sure you open the spawn point list. Uh, size 3 and we're going to drag and drop the uh, spawn point 0, spawn point 1 and spawn point 2. Uh, don't bother with the error just yet and then what we need to do is we need to set a destination transform. So this is going to be our waypoints basically. So I'm going to create a new object, create empty and this is going to be a waypoint container. I'll tag this as, uh, actually I'll put a red color on top of it reset its position so it's at 0, 0, 0 and in there I'm going to start creating some waypoints so same thing over here, actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to make these waypoints cubes for now so I'm going to create a new cube make this a children of the waypoint container put it at 0, 0, 0 and then we're going to start uh, putting them on the map so I'm going to need a waypoint right here actually I'm going to need a total of three waypoints and I'll show you in a moment so one over here is going to work just fine and um, make sure the box collider is on trigger we also need a collider of some sort so box collider is on trigger I'm going to add the waypoint script to it and I'm also going to change the name for say um, waypoint zero and since I'm here, I'm also going to drag and drop this in my prefab folder so I can instantiate more in future scenes. So with this now, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to elevate it just a little bit and I'm also going to resize the thing. So something like that, just to make sure that whenever our enemy uh, goes in here, it is actually being triggered. Okay, so that's our waypoint zero. I'm also going to add some color on top of it, so I'll say a good cyan. And um, now what I'm going to do is duplicate this, move it over here, resize it a little bit, just like that. Uh, maybe a little smaller. Yep. Okay, rename the thing. So this is going to be waypoint one. Copy it one more time, and I'm going to drag and drop this. Not drag and drop, but I'm going to drop this over here so and this is going to be waypoint 2 okay so we got our three waypoints um, the cubes are only there for visual reference for now but of course we can turn them off whenever we're ready to ship the game or whenever we're ready to build something and yeah so just tell yourself that whenever they enter that box they are going to be redirected to another waypoint and now what we need to do is set these link them together basically so I'm going to start with the spawn manager and the first thing I'll do is actually lower these spawn points, they're a little bit high, I'm going to put them at 3 in the Y for now, actually 1 and the player is going to be, not the player, the enemy are going to be spawning directly on the floor when I do that. Okay now every single of these spawn point they need a uh, reference to wherever they should be sending their enemy. So say the, the spawn point over here is spawn point 0 and it should be sending the enemies towards spawn point, or not spawn point, but waypoint uh, zero. So selecting the spawn manager, I'm going to go wherever it says spawn point zero, so over here, and I'm going to drag and drop the waypoint zero. So now what happens is whenever they spawn at the spawn point zero, they are going to be redirected to the waypoint zero. Okay, so same thing here with spawn point one, which is in the back. 
they're going to be re redirected to waypoint 1 and now spawn point 2 to waypoint 2 and now what happens is we are going to have enemies going from here and they're going to stop here so that's that's a no-go that we don't want that to happen so uh, whenever they enter the waypoints they need to be redirected again so let's go ahead and take a um, say the waypoint number two over here it has a destination transform so what we're gonna do is whenever they enter the waypoint two we need them to go at waypoint zero so drag and drop the waypoint zero inside the destination of waypoint two same thing with waypoint one so waypoint one need is the uh, destination and it is going to be the waypoint zero and now waypoint zero needs a destination um, itself as well so for our final waypoint so this is going to be the end of the level I am going to duplicate this one and put it somewhere here in the back call this one waypoint three and waypoint zero should now be redirecting people towards waypoint three and a little bit later on we'll have um, some kind of wall over here so whenever the enemies enter that zone we actually lose a life and we destroy the enemy okay now let's go ahead and try this in game I'm not quite sure if it's gonna work just yet and we're going to spawn people at the waypoint one okay so whenever we spawn them nothing happens so we forget to um, we forgot to change their destination when they're spawned. So whenever they, we spawn them over here, well first we need to reference them, so we'll say game object go is now equal to instantiate and then we instantiate our object and since we instantiate this and we, we get an object and not a game object in return, we need to say as game object at the very end. So we cast our object into a game object and then after that we'll say go dot send message and if you remember correctly the message is called set destination so uh, go to send destination or send message set destination and we're going to send the two, 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 where is it spawn point uh, at the index of spawn point index dot destination just like this now we play this again okay so now let's try spawning these so I'm spawning a sphere and then a boss. I'll do that a few times. And as they enter the waypoint zero, they are now being redirected to the waypoint three. Now let's go with the side lanes. So the one in the back. And it is being sent to the waypoint zero and then the waypoint three. So this works. And the last lane, same thing. Okay, so our waypoint system is working right now. What we'll need to do in a future episode is we'll need to um, actually put some kind of wall in between this waypoint in front of me and the last waypoint so we can destroy the enemy and remove a life from the player. Alright guys, so if this was helpful to you, please leave it a like if you have any comment. Okay, so if this was helpful to you, please leave it a like. If you have any question or comment, please leave them in the comment section below. Also subscribe for more of these tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.